and we are back with whom? The RC Informer himself. Flying the bad kitty today. Yes. And as I recall, you named this plane uh, in honor of your daughter, right? No, 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 no. no, no. Oh. The, the full scale bad kitty was given the name. I read an article that said that um, as it was being restored, there was a little girl walking around and looking oh, at the okay. spectators, and she, she saw that the oil, the engines were leaking oil. Yep. And she said, oh, what a bad kitty. Oh, is that so They overheard that, and they, um, they decided to name it Bad Kitty. Okay, and all she right. Knew, she knew it was called a tiger cat. But ah, very well. Yeah, it's pretty neat, yeah. I knew it had something to do with, it had to have something to do with a kid. Sure. So, but I thought that was a pretty neat story here. Absolutely. Very nice. This is one of three tiger cats that Rich brought, that the RC Informer brought with him. And uh, it, it shows that he actually loves flying the type. <laughs> it had, uh, it's interesting, I guess the chief Navy test pilot that flew the thing regularly, you know, he approved the, uh, he approved the Hellcat design and everything. And he, um, he was quoted actually as saying it's the best damn fighter he'd ever flown. Yep, I remember, I remember reading that. All right, touch and go. All right. Wheels down there. Gear up or gear down? Gear down. <laughs> it works better that way. You're really good if you do that. Oh, come on. Nice. Nice. You make it look easy. I guess touch and full stop? Or no, we're going to go back set for takeoff. All right. Outstanding. And again, you're you're running this on a single uh, 6S 5000 milliamp roaring top. Is this your this what we're doing right now? Uh, it's a 5500, uh, yeah, uh, 5500 70C roaring top. There you go. All, All right. right, now for power demo. Here you go. There we go. And she just hauls off the ground like a bush plane. <laughs> Same with the silver one, right? Yep. Nice. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Yeah. Gosh, it is. I mean, that thing just hauls well, itself. Well, you know, like I said, the full-scale airplane was a beast. It was just the baddest fighter to come out of World War II. It just yeah. came late in the war. Came right before the jetty. Nice. Did they come out in the beginning of World War II? Boy, they have a lot of history. Sure. Would have claimed a lot of would have claimed a lot of uh, victims. Pilot's thoughts on the sticks. I mean, is she nice and soft? I mean, is she soft? Is she rigid? I mean, how's she well, handling this wind? The plane itself feels real rigid. It's a real tight airplane. I mean, we've got a crosswind again coming from behind us. So we, we do. Got, we, we do. We got rotors coming off the building, and this thing, or off the the tents and stuff. And that's flag. correct. So, yep. You know, we've got uh, it's got a big dihedral, so when a crosswind gets it, it will lift the wing, and that's sure. how you get this little rocking. So it's yeah. because of the turbulence. And we can it. see it actually right now. She's yawing a little bit, but she's handling it. The though. airplane is smooth as glass when it's uh, when it, you know when you don't have that turbulence and sure. that rotors from behind us. That's just sure. kind of common, but yeah, let's, uh... Well, I'll tell you, again, it, it just shows that you just really love the type, oh, yeah. and you're just having a blast just, with it. It was just the ultimate twin fighter to come out of the war. Faster than a P-38 by 30 knots. Yeah. You know? And it's got a nice big Grumman wing, a friendly wing, so it's yeah. got a lot of, uh, oh, it's yeah. a deep wing, uh, it's very wide, it so... Was, it was, and again, if we didn't say it, it was the original Tomcat. 
Sure, that's and correct. It was called the Tomcat, but the War Department rejected it. So they, so they thought it was too risky. It was suggested of a name at the time. Yes. Oop, just lost. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, because it was too too suggestive. <laughs> My, how, how times have changed. Yeah, well, at the time the F-14 came out, there was, um, there were two, uh, I think there were three admirals with the first name Tom. Oh, wow. So when the name came out, they all wanted to approve it. Yeah. So it would be named after them. Landing! So they, when the Tom, name Tomcat came out, they were like, all right, our name's Tom. We our name name's Tom, Tom. yep, yep. That was yep. a story I heard or read or something. Anyway. Approved, R rubber stamped, approved, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're getting a lot of, a lot more wind coming from behind us Yes, now. sir. It's across. Yeah, a little bouncy, but that's all right. That's the thing about it, man. Anybody can fly this thing. The suspension's really yeah. good. So it's it can nice. handle, you know, if you don't do a perfect landing, it'll handle it. It sure will. Land. Yeah. Nice yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and get behind a shower. Yes. 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 Beautiful, beautiful. Let me uh, so let me get your your last uh, last impressions though. So you, again, just the best foam plane. Outstanding, outstding, and we're yep, and we're here with Rich, the RC Informer. And we're at SEF 2018. There you go. All right, brother. Good job. Thanks. Thanks again, brother.